Hi, my beautiful queens. So I'm back with another quick show and tell for you ladies. So before you ask the unit that I'm wearing, I only um, wore her a couple times. This unit is called um, Super Celine. Um, this is her actual stock card. And I'll go ahead and leave the actual um, link to the original uh, review that I did on this unit. Um, I'll put that in the description box for you guys, but I'll just give you a 360 on her before I do so. So this is the right side, left side, all the hair to the back. And I'll come in a little closer so you guys can see the parting. And these curls, they are popping. I get compliments all the time when I wear this unit. This is all the hair to the front. So like I said, if you want something that's very inexpensive and you can get away with, um, you know, people thinking it's expensive hair, then this is the one for you. So I will leave the link down below for you guys. Um, the lipstick also, I'll leave the um, name and um, where you can find this color. Um, it was given to me as a gift um, because it was a Christmas time and so the red symbolized the um, poinsettias. <laughs> I hope I'm saying the word right. Well, anyway, so yeah, let's get back to business. So the unit that I have uh, to review for you ladies today is by Model Model. It's their clean cap wig. It is heat safe up to 400 degrees. Um, the style is MMC15, the number 15, and it's in the color number two. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, color number two. So here is the stock card. And in the back of the card, you get your instructions. That tells you how to maintain your uh, unit, what you should do, and what you should not do. So this unit, let me just go ahead and take the mesh off and the stuff inside. Okay, so this unit is, um, I can tell you right off, it's not shiny, it's a very yucky uh, texture, but it's very, very soft. It's kind of like um, when you um, straighten, um, you know, um, African-American um, natural hair and you straighten it, it, it has that texture, but it's not coarse, it's um, really, really soft for a uh, yucky um, texture. The top closure is, that um, pointy uh, pinpoint um, closure. It is a bang unit and she is about maybe 12 inches. So I don't know, I'm 5'11". Once I try the unit on, you guys will see. I did not experience um, any shedding um, with this unit. Um, in the back of the unit, you get one comb and it's one of those um, wide combs. So it's like from here to about here. It's not the normal size. Um, the cap has a mesh um, construction in the bottom, so it is breathable. Um, in the front part of the unit, you know how you'd normally get like two small combs? Well, they just put like one huge comb going across. So if you're in like strong wind, let's just say a tornado or a hurricane happened to just land without warning, you are all good, okay? This is not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to chase your wig. <laughs> All right, so as far as big head friendly, um, I will know once I try the unit on. Um, like I said, this is the color. Um, it is a number two. It's not um, shiny. I apologize for my uh, crazy lighting here, um, if it makes it seem that way. Um, if I left anything out, um, just leave a comment down below, but I'm going to go ahead and do a wig swap, and I'll try this baby on for you guys. Um, so we can see what she looks like. All right, you ladies, hold on to your chairs. Don't you go anywhere. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, I'm back. So I'm going to show you in the back where I actually added the, um, the hooks. Right about there. So once I put the unit on, I'll let you guys know if she is big head friendly. I didn't make her too tight. So yes, this unit has a lot of room. You guys do not have to worry about not being able to wear this. You could have natural hair 
that's thick and full like Snoop Dogg here. <laughs> um, yeah, it won't um, be too tight for you. And um, in that way, you can also use two stocking caps to um, put your, your hair down to make it, you know, fit a little bit closer. So I'm trying to find out where the tabs are on this uh, unit to make sure that it's actually lined up correctly. Give me one second, ladies. Okay, so I think I have her on right. So, this is so pretty. I feel like the lady in the movie um, Pulp Fiction, except hers was like cut shorter. But yeah, so this is the unit just um, dragged onto my head. Um, I did not do anything else to it. This is her. So let me come in a little closer and um, show you guys the color. That's the color. My lips look Botoxed. Anyways, so this is the color up close. As you can see, it's not shiny. I'm trying to go where the lighting will behave. Okay, right there. See, it's not shiny. It's really, really dry. Um, I mean, this is like perfect. Like nobody will know unless, you know, you tell them this is not your hair that you just cut bangs in and you straighten. But yeah, so this is her on the right side. This is her on the left side. And let me make sure this is um, pulled down in the back so you guys can actually see the cut because it's at like a, a blunt... Um, or asymmetrical I should say cut but this is the back I have to get my, my words right today anyways let me get in a little closer and I'll walk out here so this is the unit ladies you guys like my twirl do you like when I twirl because it shows the, how bouncy the hair is <laughs> I'm so silly. All right, let's get back to the review. So let me go ahead and pull the unit back a little bit. So some people like to wear their units like that where it's pulled back off their face. And then some people like it a little bit further over their eyebrows. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you like it this way versus pull back just a little bit? I'm going to leave it like this so I can um, play with the styling. So with this unit, I don't know. I think you can get away with putting it in a um, ponytail or a low bun. Like I always say bun, but it's bun. <laughs> my daughter is like, why do you always say that? Um, it's getting caught on my earring. Okay, so let me try to put her in a... Um, a little ponytail back here and I'll turn around and show you guys I'm gonna even make it look a little bit prettier I'm gonna put my um, I love butterflies so I don't know if you guys know that but I really love butterflies so I found this um, hair clip in a beauty supply store and I was like I had to get it I had to have it all right so this is the unit behind your ear right side left side and in the back so yeah you could um rock it that way or just leave it down this is really really cute and it feels so good on my head the hair texture is so nice. It's like a yakky but soft and it just feels so good. And I love the fact that you could um, use heat on this up to 400. So you could even add curls to it if you want to. But this is the unit behind my ears, just down like that. Or you could pull it further down, like I said, uh, over your brows and just rock it behind your ears it's just a very low um you know maintenance like there's not it, it's some styling but it's not like 
one that keeps you in the mirror all day. You know what I mean? Like if you're in a hurry and you just want something that's going to look sophisticated but sleek at the same time and easy, you just, you know, reach for this one. I don't know what you're going to name your unit, but I give all my wigs names. Like I have Angelina Jolie um, from Salt. You know, I just give them like funny names like that. <laughs> so yeah, so this is her pool behind the ears. And you can always just, like I said, wear it the way it came, you know, on the stock card. So this is how the model has her on. Sometimes these units, the model um, pictures, they don't really do these units any justice. And it's like sometimes you look at them online and you're like, um, I don't know if I want to buy that wig. But when you do actually purchase the unit, it's like really, really nice. So that's why I try to um, get different ones to um, review for you ladies so you guys can see that, you know, um, how the unit looks and all that stuff. So um, let me know what you guys think about this unit. I think she's really cute. Um, I love the color. Um, they actually come, she comes in a variety of other colors. So they're like all on the bottom. If you guys notice, they have the one, the one B number two. And then um, I think the, the one that I was going to get today was the, um, it has blonde to it, but I didn't really like the, the color. It's more of an orangey blonde. So I just went ahead and just, you know, played it safe and got the number two. So you guys can see what she looks like. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. Thumbs up if you love it. If you don't, you don't. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. And to all my subscribers, you guys know, I do appreciate you. I do appreciate your time. You know, you have to take time out to watch these videos. And I do appreciate it. And I do love your comments. You guys keep me going. Like I said, I was planning on retiring from doing this, but um, a couple of people emailed me freaking out saying, no, don't do it. You know, just continue doing what you're doing. So I will try, ladies. I really will. Okay, so I just want to um, let you guys know I do appreciate you for showing the love and um, keep me, you know, motivated. So um, as always, um, if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like or thumbs up. And don't forget, which is very important, to turn your notification bell on because when the videos come up, you guys won't know that I post them until you're strolling through um, YouTube and you might see a video um, that you guys missed. So um, yeah, don't forget to turn that on. Um, I'm going to leave you on this quick note. Um, you guys are awesome. You're fabulous. You are blessed and beautiful. Stay blessed and stay beautiful. <laughs> Keep a clean heart. And just know that God does not give you more than you can handle. I want to say I love you guys. I appreciate you. Until my next video, Poetic Angel, one love. Mwah. <laughs>